Hi, my name is John. Welcome to a short video in a series of videos all about this Artec 261 ACDC inverter T welder. In this video, I won't be sitting at a bench welding some nice clean stainless coupons. This is a real world video. I've got a stainless steel welding job to do, and I'm going to base the video around that. I'm going to show some spot welding or some tack welding, and I'm going to use the pulse on easy set to weld this stainless. I'll try and get some decent shots, some arc shots, sort of through the lens, not to show you how to weld, just to show you what sort of results you can get. The machine's powered up, it's in straightforward DC TIG mode. The first thing I'm going to set is the amperage, it's actually 140 amps, which will be enough to do the job I've got to do. We're interested in this one here, where it says spot, so we'll navigate around. That turns the spot on, and that turns the tack on. I'm going to use spot on this particular job. So you go in here, and it gives you the parameters of what's going to happen. You've got 2.5 seconds of pre-flow gas. It's got a spot time of 1 second. It's got a stitch time of 2 seconds. So it's going to fire for 1 second, off for 2, back on for 1. And the last one is post flow. That's gas that comes out when you're finished welding. It's not wasting gas, it keeps the whirlpool clean, it also helps to keep the tungsten clean. We're back to the standard screen. This is the same material we're going to be welding, 4mm stainless. I'm going to try and get a decent arc shot of the spot welding process or the tap welding process before we move on to the real job. So that's failing itself automatically every two seconds. All I'm interested in is actually doing the one spot weld to join them together, then I'm going to use a pulse weld to do the job. This is the actual job we've got to do. This is an ash pan of a central steam wagon. The problem with it is it's an inch and a half too shallow. So I've had some stainless steel strip cut and I've bent it around something to get it sort of somewhere near the shape and I need to weld that onto there. So the idea is to put some tack welds on and slowly form it round to keep a nice curve to try and get it to fit as best I can. And then I'm going to pulse weld it. I've got to clamp on a hole at the beginning of it. You can see the curve's wrong, the curve's not right. I just bend it around somewhere. I haven't got a set of rollers that'll bend this. But what I can do is I can make it fit. I can tack it and tack it and tack it and slowly bend it around and we will get a good result. Um, the idea of a tack is you get an instant whack, hard punch that fuses it together. Really strong, really quick. I've got a separate earth off my welding bench. I've got the foot pedal down here, so I'm basically ready to start putting some tack welds on. Just put making really nice shiny tack welds so you can bend it into shape. So we've got some nice clean right spot welds. I've used a J-clamp to pull this into place. So that was a setup for the spot welding. Now we're going to go DC easy set. 2.4mm tungsten as normal. We're welding 4mm material. It is stainless steel. It is a boat joint. 
Now I've got the pulse set to 3 hertz because I know that works. You can change the pulse on the preset menus. But 3, which is 2 hertz, actually works very well on this job. So I'll try and get a shot through the welding mask if it's actually been welded. I've got 10% either way on the amperage and I'm going to tweak it up to 140 amps because I am using a pedal and I can't back it off if I need to. Now we're going to be doing a fusion weld. There'll be no filler material going in, just a straightforward fusion weld together because there's no gap. It's a nice tight fitting joint. So it's a nice clean shiny weld, really strong, once that's polished off you don't even know it's been repaired really. We'll carry on, get it welded up. It's welded all the way around now, I'm just going to patch the put in there, but it's a nice clean weld all the way around. It's just about all the way through, so that's going to do the job very nicely indeed. I'm sure you'll agree that the machine did everything it's supposed to do. That spot function is very handy when you've only got one hand, you're holding something and you can tack up. The pulse on the easy set worked very well. Nice clean welds, plenty of penetration without that much heat input. I hope you've managed to learn something from the video, take something from it. If you do decide to buy this welder, in fact any product from Artec, be sure to use my name, it certainly won't do you any harm. And don't forget to wear your gloves when you're welding.